We're here today and we've just run a fantastic round table with Dubai FDI and Virtue Zone about expansion into Dubai to expand into the wider regions of the Middle East. And we're super excited to be able to introduce those members of Virtue Zone on camera after this. I work for a company called Virtue Zone. We, we, we're a corporate service provider. We specialise in helping entrepreneurs and startups start their business in Dubai, but also help established companies move from their home country into the UAE. We help them enter the market, we help them bed in, we help them find a legal solution to help them set the company up. Gone are the days where you could just fly in and fly out of Dubai and conduct commercial activity. You're unlikely to win tenders and win contracts unless you have a local trade license in Dubai. So once you've admitted to yourself that you need to have that legal presence there, the next thing to do is to navigate the maze because it is a bit of a maze when setting up in the UAE. It's not like setting up in the UK where you can set up a company online in 20 minutes. Even though it's a small country, there's over 55 jurisdictions inside the country and each of them have their own rules, regulations and regulatory body. We can introduce you through our strategic partnership with Dubai FDI. We can introduce you to the relevant government authorities that you might perhaps need to meet if perhaps they regulate your product or service. In the last 10 years we have set up over 16,000 companies. Today was really, really interesting to me because I wanted to learn a little bit more about how I could expand those companies into Dubai and also about the potential of any advantages to setting up companies actually in that region in, uh, from the start. Dubai and Abu Dhabi are both ranked with inside the world's top 10 safest cities. So you don't have to worry about the safety aspect. The, um, the cost of living is high, but that is relative to the salaries that are paid. So, so bear in mind, I would say it's probably on a par with somewhere like Norway uh, or Denmark in terms of salaries and cost of living. I learned that it's all possible. I learned that um, you need to be planning ahead. Um, and I learned that with the right contacts and the right people giving you advice on the ground, then it's actually okay. It's not as scary as it seems. There, there are no income tax, there are no corporation taxes, and there are no plans to introduce either of them. But you wouldn't need to worry if you were to bring your family there. It's a great lifestyle, a great way of living. Kids will love it, wife will love it.